another edition of Wedding Show TV. I'm here again with Neil from Le Papillon Patisserie and today we'll be finding out how to choose the perfect flavour for your wedding cake. Neil, thanks again for having us. It's good to have you back. So much food is consumed during a wedding. How do you actually ensure the guests eat the cake? Well, you have to think about all the food you're having during the day. So if, if you're having canapes and then a three-course meal, a couple of glasses of champagne, half a bottle of wine, the last thing your guests want is a, a slice of cake and a cup of coffee straight after the meal. So I would always say, unless you're including the cake as part of the meal for dessert, try and have that later in the day or, or even in the evening. If you can have it on the buffet in the evening, you can include the evening guests with a cake cutting. And it just means you're not overloading people with too much food. Um, so you just try not to, to, to have the cake too soon after the meal, which is quite often a, a common mistake people make. And the go-to flavour once upon a time would have been fruitcake, yeah. but there's so much more variety now. Yeah. How would you recommend choosing the, the flavours? Well, fruitcake is almost a dying breed. We're not seeing it very much at all now. Um, before, you would only have fruitcake, then you may have had chocolate cake, or you may have had a Victoria sponge if you were lucky. There are so many flavours to choose from. But what I think is important is making sure you have variety. So we have a lot of brides who will come to us to say they love chocolate and they would like three tiers of chocolate cake. And although that's lovely, um, there are other guests at your wedding, your Auntie Jean might like lemon cake, for example, and she might not like chocolate. So it's worthwhile thinking about the other guests as well. If you're having three tiers or four tiers of cake, have three or four flavours, cater for everybody. Um, and if you, if you have a lemon, a carrot cake, a chocolate cake, most people will be happy. And then again, you'll, you'll probably have a little less waste. But there are also a lot of people now with food allergies, um, so maybe consider having a separate cake for them. If you can have one cake that caters to um, egg allergies and gluten allergies and dairy allergies, etc., you should then keep everybody happy. But my advice would be lots of variety. And um, what are your thoughts on cake and dessert? Do you have to have one or the other? You can have both. Uh, you can have one. We are seeing an increase in, in popularity for people choosing their wedding cake for their dessert. Uh, some caterers and venues will allow you to do that, where they'll reduce the price of your uh, wedding food uh, because you're choosing to have the cake as dessert. But bear in mind you'll need a slightly larger cake for that. Um, but if you're going to have the cake and dessert, just don't serve them together. It's, it's too much food. So put it on the evening buffet, um, everyone's had a couple of drinks uh, by that point and so they might want some extra food as well. Nice, brilliant. Thanks so much, Neil. You're welcome, no problem. You can meet Neil and all of our other experts by visiting the National Wedding Shows. For further information, please visit nationalweddingshow.co.uk and don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>